Yeah, gaming! Give me my health back, Slowpoke. It's all mine. Pop. Oh. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Sim Regulation. <sighs> this video bringing you a Sandaconda team. Y'all remember this was a Pokemon? Because I didn't. I didn't until Tiger Formal on Discord joined our Poke Sports Discord, went into the rental coach chat as y'all should do too, and left me a Sandaconda rental code there. And the second I saw this, I, I, admit, I initially thought, oh, it's gonna be like a sand spit thing, yada yada, sand team, probably an extra drill somewhere there. Probably, I don't know, weakness policy bursting our, our Sandaconda setting up the sand and then having extra drill at plus two, I don't know. Something crazy was about to happen. But to my surprise, it was a sand veil Sandaconda, not sand spit with minimize. And I'm just like, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So we got a Pheasantipity here with the Toxic Chain, with the Toxic, just in case your Toxic Chains uh, aren't, aren't getting Toxics. You could always just go for the regular old Toxic. We have Ogre Pond here for redirection, Clefairy here for redirection, and Friend Guard in those situations where they do hit you through Minimize. And then an Instant here with Fake Out. Yeah, a Solvescent T-Tar setting the Sand, Sandaconda with the Sand Veil setting up a Minimize over and over and over again. Paralyzing everything that we can't poison and poisoning everything that we can't paralyze. It sounds like a pretty darn fun time We're para flinching with the glare and the rock slide. We're going For protect lefty stall with minimize with the toxic. I'm ready to burn After today's video if y'all are ready to see what the heck we're about to do here with Sanaconda Go ahead, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already Thank you so much Tiger Formal for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord and with that said, it's going tell today's video. What could possibly go wrong? We're against Ham Man. Hi, Ham Man. How are you today, my friend? I'm gonna go T-Tar, I'm gonna go Sandaconda, I'm gonna turn my brain off, and I'm gonna try to minimize 10 times. The end. Maybe there's a better way to do this. Maybe I should hold my T-Tar in the back first. They don't have any intimidating on their side of the field. I might want to take advantage of that, you know? So maybe I go Pheasantipity, I go Sandaconda, try to poison everything I can. They only have one thing on their team that can't be poisoned, that's the Golden Go. I need the instant in the back for that said Golden Go. And I guess last has to be T-Tar. Let's try it out! <laughs> Let's figure it out together. This doesn't feel like an easy team to use. It doesn't. It feels like a team that it's gonna work when it works and it's gonna crumble when it struggles. <laughs> Let's see if we can pro prove ourselves wrong today. Golden Goat is gonna be the lead because why the heck wouldn't you? All right, there's some good news. There's some bad news, mostly bad news. I am gonna want to go for the Steel Terror, go for the Minimize turn one. I have Covert Cloak, so I can't get fake outed. So I think I'm just gonna go for a simple Toxic on this Rilla. They don't know I have Covert Cloak, so. Hopefully they just fake out the Dippity. They're gonna Terrastalize. Into Fire Terror, okay. Why? I don't actually know the answer to that why. I feel like I don't have enough threatening Pokemon in the field for you to, like, terrestrialize there. I could be wrong. I, I just don't know what they're fearing at this point with Fire Terra. But I don't mind. Unless they have Fire Terra, Terra Blast, and they predicted my Steel Terra. That's fine, too. Perfect turn for me. That's a free Minimize if I've ever seen one. Here's a Toxic. Enjoy that. And they would hammer. Yeah, we resist. And we get minimize up, baby. All right. Singular minimize is up. I can now either tailwind. Or set up my sand, sh uh, my, uh, my sandstorm. 
I think Tailwind and getting ourselves to plus two is better. Yeah, let's do that. It's just Tailwind. We should be the fastest thing on the field right now. Unless they're going for a Grassy Glide, and Grassy Glide won't really make the big difference that they're looking for here. All right, let's get Tailwind up. Minimize. We're at plus four now. Okay. We're gaming, folks. They're making it rain. They're hitting everybody. Okay, well, that's a little sad. Not what I anticipated being at plus four, I'll be honest. But hopefully it won't happen twice in a row. They tried to taunt me. They missed. <laughs> you can't stop me. All right, at this point, now that the Tailwind is up, I have the choice of swapping in a T-Tar. I don't think I want to make that choice when there's a Golden Go on the field. And I also could get to plus six. I'm not sure if that's a big difference or if I should just start rock sliding. Now nah, let's get to six. If I get to six, does the Sand Veil boost it even further? That would be nuts. Like how far can I go? Maybe I'm just gonna click Rock Slide. And I guess I should try to preserve this. Let me go in uh, my instant here. I wanna try to preserve the Toxic in case I need it in the late game. And I'm just gonna go for a nice and simple Rock Slide here. Not trying to overthink it. Gonna get this into down on the Rilla too, which is nice. Oh, they swapped the Rilla out, Never mind. Instant can deal with this Golden Go if I need it to. Dragonite swapping into a Rock Slide, which is bad for it. So I, I don't mind that. Free Rock Slide. Free damage. Definitely not multi-scale, that's for sure. And I get a crit on the Golden Go. Beautiful. Oh, and I get a flinch on the Golden Go. Extra beautiful. Oh, that's huge. That is nice. That is glorious. That is fabulous. At this point... I'm a menace. I can do glare now. We do glare and we flare blitz or do we just knock off? I kind of like the idea of a knockoff better. That's why. In case they swap right back into Rilla. We're going to get rid of the item at least now. Let's poison this guy. Not poison. Uh, paralyze. Let's introduce more hacks to the table. And knock off. Great damage. Get rid of the Miracle Seed. That might be useful. Stomping Youch! Bro! Hello, Choice Man! Nice to see ya! My goodness. Okay, now that the Golden Go is gone, though. I'm definitely going to need the instant for Golden Go, so I'm going to try to keep instant alive. Do I just introduce the sand? Might be a little risky to bring sand into a... Uh... No, I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him Pheasantipity first. I know the sand would give me more, like, evasion. But I think T-Tar is a little bit more useful in the late game than this Pheasantipity. Especially with the Pokemon that we know they have left. Alright, they fake out. That's fine. Here's a Rock Slide. Not bad. Parafuse! Parafuse! We get to keep our Pheasantipity another turn! <laughs> Santa Con is doing Santa Con of things. That's a fact. This is the one way to play Santa Conda. All right, they healed just as much as they lost, but next turn they will lose even more. Grassy terrain disappearing is also incredibly great. We rock slide and we tailwind again. We get tailwind right back on up. The perfect timing. Keeping our Pheasantipity alive was huge because we get this late game tailwind here. Rock slides, double connecting again. Sandaconda just KO'd two Pokemon, everybody. Sandaconda did, all on its own. No help from anybody. That's a lie. Woo! Bye, Dragonite. See you later.
I'm assuming Chen Pao is somewhere in the back. Sandaconda was able to go from less than half all the way back up to full through just lefties and grassy terrain alone. <laughs> yeah, Chen Pao's her last. Okay. Can Chen Pao hit me though? Oh, they have Sacred Sword, so yes, they can. I think I protect. I think I'm going to protect and gleam for now. I should be faster than Chen Pao and Tailwind. Unless they sucker punch me. They don't. Perfect. Hey, listen, I'll break Sash. Thank you. If they want a Sacred Sword, they can't use Sucker Punch. They have to Sacred... They don't have an option. They have to Sacred Sword. Okay. Game's getting spicy. Game's definitely getting spicy. I'm going to Rock Slide. I'm going to Dazzle him again. Okay, Chen Pao's dealt with, Chen Pao's gone. There's just a plus two golden go on the other side of the field, and I have four mons left. One of them being an NC. All right, we're going for a rock slide flinches. Because I don't think I have another choice here. Nope, they're making it rain. Things are going to die. Okay, Sanaconda lives. They did hit Sanaconda. Does make it rain have like a, a no miss chance? Is that is that the way make it rain works? Do they make golden go that stupid? There's no way, right? That's two they hit. No. Money is earned after battle lowers user special attack. There's no 100% accurate chance. I'm just getting unlucky. All right, let's go into Fuego before we don't have that chance anymore. Because now our Tailwind is only two turns away. One turn away. I'm going to minimize this last turn. Do they have a Terra left? No, they don't. They used it on, t on uh, Rilla. Let's just go for the knockoff on Golden Go here. Oh, they don't protect! Do they not have it? Oh, well, enjoy this knockoff then. I don't know. I don't think you take this. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. A lot more anticlimactic than I thought. I thought they were like legitimately going to like go crazy <laughs> in about a second. But nah, Sandaconda, defeating the ham man. Can we do that two more times today? Maybe. Let's find out. And I thought my team was weird for having Sandaconda. My opponent said, nah, Noivern. Okay, Noivern's here, folks. Noivern with the Porygon Z and the Okie Dogi. A lot of fun stuff on my opponent's side of the field. I'm a little bit cautious, cautious about their Okie Dogi for my T-Tar. T-Tar is part flying type though, so on Terra type. Not the worst thing ever. I'm also a little bit cautious about the Intimidate on their side of the field. But I think I'm just gonna be a degenerate right away. I'm gonna bring my Pezendipity, try to get some poisons off right away. It also helps me a little bit against my fighting weaknesses. Let's do Pheasantipity plus Ensign. Bring Sandaconda and Tyranitar in the back, which means we're leaving behind the Ogre Pond. Kind of scary. We're also going to have no way of breaking through that Archaladon, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed, my whole team is... Physical and I can't poison it. Oh, it's gonna be rough Listen, we're about to try our darn best I can't poison it, but I think if they can't hit me I Also can't lose but we'll see how well this goes. I am a minimize uh, toxic stall strat This might be a long video but I think it's possible. I just got to force the tear out first. All right, they didn't even lead with it. They know what I'm trying to do. They know exactly what I'm trying to do here. 
All right, they're frisking my Cover Cloak, and they see my Citrus Berry. And I'm giving them Guard Dog. Okay, not the greatest thing ever, but we'll deal. I'm gonna hit Icy Wind, and I get a fake out on either one of these two. I think this one's gonna go for the Tailwind, so I'm gonna fake this guy out. Even though this one will destroy. Actually, did I even see Guard Guard Dog? Okay, yeah, they do have Guard Dog. Yeah. I'm gonna Icy Wind, and I think I am gonna fake out the Okie Dogie for now. Just to keep my instant alive another turn. Nice little crit there. We'll take that. We'll take that. They're gonna go for the Tailwind. I could have matched that. It's not the biggest deal, though. Icy Wind should help us a little bit here. Even though four times effective, not enough to even do damage to the Noivern. Wow. I must not have, like, any defense investment whatsoever. Also, no poisons happened for me. Okay, I'm gonna Icy Wind again. They're gonna punch me. Maybe I should match their Tailwind. Would it match Tailwind? Hard swap my Sandaconda. This is not an easy game. I'll be real. <laughs> I'll be completely and utterly honest. Oh, and they brought our Chaladon. How do I defeat this thing? I'm glad I didn't give it a stamina boost. I'm gonna have to ignore it for as long as I can. Ooh, that shiny sand kind of looks real nice. Brother, what? Holy, half my health bar destroyed. How do I win? I can't poison anything here. I wasn't prepared for this. All right, well, now I got a hard swap. I'm going into T-Tar. Wish me luck. Man, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just going to start minimizing because I don't know what else to do. Hopefully, Sandvel helps me from this drain punch. <laughs> Despotar, I'm Desporet. That's for sure. Let's up the Sandstream. As they go for a flash cannon. Okay, thankfully, the Sandstream helps us a lot there. Special defense falling is never fun. And we do have speed, we get the minimize. So we're Sandvale plus minimize plus two. And they somehow still hit! <laughs> it's not a good game. This is a very good showcase of how this team can go wrong. What do I do? If I go into Fuegra, I give him another boost. If I go into Bitori. I gotta give him stamina boosts. What's the solution? Okay, well, I gotta go for Flying Terra. And I gotta go for Stomping Tantrum. And I guess I'm gleaming. Oh, God. There's no good thing coming out of this turn. Is there any way of us clawing back into this match? I don't know. I guess I need the stomping tantrum to crit or something. They could be like power herb plus electro shot. And if they are and they predict my flying Terra this turn, I might be in some severe trouble. Also, just me ignoring this okie dokie is never a great idea. I might need to terror blast it next turn. All right, we're a flying tar now. Please don't electro shot. Okay, they're also bringing Terra here. Okay. Water Terra. I don't have a super effective move against you. So that does kind of suck, but at least it's not a child on. Well, I'm giving a plus one to first. At least now I can technically poison the Okie Dokie now. As they body press, thankfully body press not doing any damage to us. 
Stopping tantrum, show me something. That's nothing, okay. This is bad. Poison jab to my face. Down to 66 HP. I need help. <laughs> I need serious help. Oh, God. Is relying on a freeze my shot? Is that my new win condition? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> we got a poison off. Don't know if it matters. Ice punch. Wish me luck. Stamina boost. No freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Pheasant Dippity. And goodbye, Titor. Yeah. They have their own ice punch. Difference is, their hurt, theirs hurts more. <laughs> Man, I knew from Team Preview it was going to be a rough battle. I didn't know it was going to be this rough. I haven't been able to defeat a single Pokemon on my opponent's side of the field. Yeah, like when you can't poison them. Games just get harder. I have a singular instant in the back. I'm about to give another guard dog boost to their guard dog. Well, let's see how much a knockoff can do. <laughs> I don't think I outspeed the body press, but I do outspeed the, the okie dokie. Yep, okay. On to the next. I'm in pain. <laughs> Severe, utter pain. Holy. What can I say? <laughs> GG. Dark Arise VGC's out here with a slow poke. Who are you trying to impress, Dark Arise? Who are you out here trying to impress? Listen, I see those steel types. That means there's six things I can poison on their side of the field. Bring in Fezendipity. That's for sure. Ogre Pond ain't bad either. How do I stop their, ta uh, their trick room? Is it even possible? Maybe not. Could try to flinch him. But I got to hold the T-Tar in the back. You never know when you're going to need the T-Tar. I'll bring Santa Conda in the lead. Followed by Titar in the back. Oh, what else? What would help round off the team comp? I gotta bring my own Ogre Pond or else I have nothing to deal with their Ogre Pond. I could have brought Instant. Instant actually is very good into like the whole fire trick room thing. But I mean, so is Ogre Pond. I just have to save Terra for the Ogre Pond. I can't afford to, to not bring T-Tar because I got to turn off their weather some way, somehow, some shape, some form. And then I'm committed to two things weak to their Ogre Pond, so. We're going to need to follow me redirection, too. Ogre Pond just fit everything that we needed at this time. That's a lot of marrow you have hiding behind you. Dark Arise holding a school of marrow in his backyard. Ogre Pond Fluter Hooter, hello. Um, I'm terrified. But I believe we just tailwind here and we protect. Or do we still tear and minimize right away? Honestly, yes. I could protect next turn and actually get like lefties recovery for my protect here. I know I said I had to terastalize my Ogre Pond in this game, but I didn't expect them to just lead with the Ogre Pond right away. And like no Trick Room to be found. They did the opposite of said Trick Room here. Alright, they're just Shadow Balling. That's fine. I'm a Fairy with a really high special defense. I do get Tailwind up because I do go before the Ogre Pond. And what does Ogre Pond do here? Do you attack my Sandaconda? 
No. They go all, all in on Fez and Dippity. And we still hang on. Nice try, though. Alright, I'm gonna Toxic. I'm gonna do it again. We Toxic the Pawn, and we do it again. Get poisoned, pal! You let my Sandaconda go unchecked? That's a you problem! Yeah, now you trying to attack Sandaconda, huh? Oh my goodness. Please stop. Please stop hurting me so bad. Okay, good. Yeah, now they rotated targets! <laughs> oh boy. How... what do we do now? I'm gonna Toxic you now. And I'm just gonna hit Protect. Keeping it simple. Getting the double Toxic on the field. Getting the Sandaconda some health back. Oh, they go for Follow Me. Smart play. Okay, big brain. I respect it. This turns into a nothing turn, but it's fine because what I can do is... I see wind, and that still does have that same poison chance. I was gonna protect this turn anyway. And get some health back regardless. Alright, let's icy wind. <laughs> let's go to the plus six, why not? Icy Wind does double connect. Do we get the Toxic Chain going, though? We got the speed drop. But that's obvious. Hey, we poisoned them somehow. All right. I have to dodge two moves at plus six. There's one. Uh-oh. Run. Yeah, 8 HP. <laughs> We're hanging on! Oh boy. It's a slow game. It's all worth it in the end, I swear. We haven't done much damage, but somehow we also haven't lost yet. I am gonna hit Tailwind again. And I'm gonna hit Protect for lefties. <laughs> they probably know that this is what I'm gonna do. But I don't have another choice. Tailwind's going back up. They're probably gonna knock out my pheasant dip. It. Yeah, as they should. As they should. I can't even be mad about that. Now I have no idea if Sandvale boosts evasion even further than plus six. I don't think that's possible. But it might be. It might not honestly be two different checks for evasion. I don't know how it works. Like, if you make it through the first one, you then have to make it through a second one. Beats me. Someone out there let me know. I just know that I'm just adding evasion boosts on top of evasion boosts here. That is my game plan. Um, oh boy, I can redirect all the attacks into my Ogre Pond now. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it! Bring it out the Ogre Pond! Actually, I should be able to speed their, their Flutter. Oh, they're gonna redirect me. So I'm gonna redirect them. Let me throw a rock slide out here. They withdraw Flutter, actually. Okay. Interesting, which means they're attacking with their Ogre Pond? The one Sleepy's coming out. Oh no, it's here! It's the poke! What's the purpose of the poke? They double follow me. Interesting. I think they died to sand uh, onto a, not sand chip, to poison chip plus rock slide here though. So next turn we'll be able to smack this slow poke in the face. Are they trying to TR against me? Is that like maybe their new goal? I wonder what the slow poke's terras- the slow poke has to be the terrestrialization, right? They wouldn't just bring out a slow poke. Just cuz, right? I find that really hard to believe. Alright, now the Flutter Main is still not faster because I'm in Tailwind for two more turns. 
do I just take this shot on Flutter now? I think I'm gonna. Let's just glare the slowpoke. Yeah, I'm just taking a shot on your Flutter, dude. Bye. They will get Trick Room up, though. And I think that's what that's what their game plan is. But we still have the T-Tar in the back. And we still have some hacks in our favor, maybe. Yes, we made them slower for this Trick Room. I know, but they were already the slowest. That's fine. Okay. They're going to bring in Porco. We're going to bring in T-Tar. We're going to have so many boosts that we can hopefully dodge attacks. Actually, what I should do is double protect for some lefties recovery. Oh, they have iron hands. Oh, I'm actually in danger here because they can hurt everything I have. Oh, no. Well, uh, initially, I'm going to... I'm going to double protect. Because I think I have no reason not to. And now if this slowpoke whips out an encore on me, I'm going to cry. And if this Iron Hands whips out a belly drum, I'm definitely going to cry. Let's just double protect, though. Let's stall a turn to the Trick Room. Because why wouldn't we? They have skill swap. They're trying to take my sand, my sand veil from me. I'm still plus six evasion. And they have heavy slam. Oh, that can't miss! That's why they have that! Oh! Rain! Okay. They actually have the wind condition here. I didn't even notice. Well, now I pretty much... I don't think... Can a heavy slam KO my Sandaconda? Here's what I have to do. I have to... Follow me. Rock slide and then protect an Ivy Cudgel, and then follow me, Rock Slide, protect Ivy Cudgel. Because I can't keep my... Okay, they're taking Water Absorb. That doesn't make a difference. They're giving me Oblivious. Is that horrible? I don't know. I wonder why they want to skill swap me so bad. Oh, they switch over to CC. We live it, though. We live it. Okay. We hang on. That's not damage. We just have to stall Trick Room, stall Trick Room, stall Trick Room. I'm gonna switch over to Horn Leech. Try to get a lot of HP back here. And I'm just gonna protect Sandaconda. They're lowering the defenses on this... Oh, we're kind of in danger, I'm not going to lie, because I don't know how I'm defeating this Iron Hands. Okay, that's good. need Iron Hands to go into the Sandaconda now, though. Yeah! Gaming! Give me my health back, Slowpoke! It's all mine! Bop! Oh. Oh, you lived. Low-key surprising. I'll be real. Low-key surprising. Tell you what, I don't think I have to follow me here. I'm just going to keep stalling this Trick Room that has one turn left. So we Spiky Shield. And we Rock Slide. We get rid of this stupid Slowpoke. Who's trying its best out here. Slowpoke is absolutely trying its darndest. I'm going to get Heavy Slammed once, but hopefully the Slowpoke, uh, Slowpoke attack misses. So I can keep my Sandaconda this turn. The next turn is just going to be an Ogre Bond versus two fast Pokemon. All right, now they're giving me Water Absorb and taking away my Sand Veil. I'm so confused what this is doing. Don't think it's doing anything. CC and dodged. Should have heavy slammed, buddy. Rock slide. Bop. Get out of here. Bye, Slowpoke. See you next time. Oh, this is going so much better than the last battle. <laughs> All right, Twisted Dimensions finally returned to normal. Let's go for a cudgel. Let's go for a slide. And let's hope for the best. Battle was canceled, taking a final dub here with Sandaconda. 2-1 overall, Dark Rise VGC, GG.
and Tiger Formal. You successfully done it. You built another thing that no one asked you to, and I've played it here on the channel. Wow, listen. If you got some, some better luck than Kevin Luck, Sandaconda is your guy. Sit there, set up Minimize, bring in the sand. I never got to do plus six Minimize plus the sand, so I have no idea what the chances are. I never had to, but the fact that I could have at any point that last game is kind of crazy too. Just keep in mind there are some moves that never missed. You have your heavy slams, you have your blur salunas, etc, etc. So keep that in mind when you're playing this team. Other than that, that was a fun time. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button on your way out. Thank you so much, Tiger Formal, again. Check out the Poke Sports merch. Get yourself an emblem shirt or a Moon Bear hat or a bunch of other stuff over at Pokesports.info. Pokesports.org slash collections. Check out our Patreon. Check out our membership on YouTube. And have yourselves a fabulous rest of your day. I'm Kevin's Pokesports. Peace out. Bye-bye.